What's up you guys? Good morning and happy Wednesday. So I just finished with my workout this morning, which is why I look homely and a hot mess. But I wanted to jump in here on my personal page and share a little something with you guys. Um, normally this is something that I jump in on my my other page and and share but I know that there's a lot of friends that I have here a lot of people that probably need to hear this that don't follow me on my other page so if you don't follow me over on my like page it's Facebook slash be fit stuff um, you can find it if you scroll through my news feed but I wanted to talk to you guys today about doing something good for you and, and this is actually something that those of you that are in my five-day mindset group this week, we're talking about this. Like we're talking about de-stressing your day. And yesterday we talked about self-care. Today we're kind of talking about, you know, where, where you wanted to be versus where you are. And it amazes me at how many of us, especially the, the busy mamas, those of us that work full-time, those of us that live to serve and love other people, how much effort and energy we give in making other people happy and we tend to put ourselves on the back burner. Are you that way? <laughs> are you a chronic people pleaser too? Or are you someone that you're always giving for everyone else and so you either don't have time for yourself or you feel guilty when you do or maybe you don't even know what that means. But if that's you, hit a like or hit a love and and just share that it's not just me. But I wanted to share with you, um, those of you that don't know, um, I actually, I grew up, my dad's an airline pilot. And if any of you have ever flown on, on an airplane, you always hear before the flight takes off the flight attendants up in front and they kind of go through the safety um, instructions. And you know, you guys, I've probably flown on an airplane since I was four years, three, four years old, maybe. And because my dad's a pilot and so every time I hear them do that I just I tune it out I, I do whatever I'm doing I'm that person that's like still on her phone <laughs> or I'm trying to like corral my kids in the seat so I'm not paying attention to them but something that they always say that I always used to wonder like why is that such a big deal was if when they talk about like the cabin pressure right like put your oxygen mask on first and then help those around you and I remember I used to hear that and I'm like that's kind of weird. Like, don't I want to get my baby's oxygen masks on first and then get mine? But it, it hit me that you've got to be able to put your oxygen mask on first so you can be better at serving other people. And I know how easy it is sometimes for us to forget that because we're caught up in the hustle every day or, you know, those of us that are, are busy mamas, right? Like we're, we're tending to our kids. We, everything we have is for our kids, for our spouse, for our, our job, for other people. And sometimes you just kind of lose a little bit of who you are. You lose a piece of, of your sparkle because you're too busy worrying about other people. So I wanted to jump in and tell you to put your oxygen mask on first. And believe me, I used to be that person where I was like, man, like I feel so guilty, like especially as a mom, y'all, can I tell you? I used to feel so guilty to get up and do something good for me every single day because I felt selfish. And I felt like, well, I, I don't want to become narcissistic and I don't want to become that mom where like it's all about me and not my kids or all about me and not my husband. But what I found, at least this is, this is for me, when I kept putting other people first and not tending to things that I needed, to not take a big breath and step back and go, Steph, what do you need to do to calm the hell down? <laughs> or what's something that you need to do that's good for you? I couldn't be the best version of me for the people that I cared the most about. So it's okay to take time to yourself. That's part of the reason why, like a crazy lady, I get up as early as I do in the morning and I, I dive into prayer and I dive into personal development to my devotionals, why I get my sweat on every morning because it doesn't make me feel guilty if I get it done before everyone else in the house is up and then I can go about my day and I can be mom and I can be a wife and I can be a good employee, I can be a good leader to those that I mentor. But you have to be willing to put your oxygen mask on first because otherwise what will happen is you'll, you'll be tending too much to other people 
trying to please everyone else, trying to make sure everyone else is okay, make sure everyone else is happy, and then you run out of oxygen and, and you get exhausted and now you're not able to give them your best. So take some time today, you guys. Do something that is good for you. And I don't know what that means for you. Maybe it's sitting down and reading a book. Maybe it's taking a nice Epsom salt bath <laughs> at the end of a long day. Maybe it's just sitting back and having peace and quiet so you can just decompress. Maybe it is getting your sweat on. But I want you to know that it's okay and we're all busy. And this doesn't have to be something extravagant, doesn't have to be something that costs you a lot of money, like maybe you go get a mani-pedi and that makes you feel better, or maybe you go on a shopping spree or hang out with girlfriends, whatever. But do something today that's good for you. Put your oxygen mask on first. And what that'll do, it'll make you better for the people that you love, that you're trying to serve the most because they're getting the best version of you. They're not getting a worn out, exhausted version of you. So. Do that today. That is my encouragement to you. And I want to hear what you did, how you felt after you did this. So share that with me, you guys. And Kelly and Nicole and Jen, good morning, you guys. I hope you have a great day today. And if you're someone who's struggling with just making the time for you, I have something that I think will help. I'm getting ready to open enrollment for my next group starting in February. And this is going to be our focus. Those of us that like, we don't have time for ourselves or we say that we don't have time for ourselves. Some of us that maybe don't know where to start, maybe feel guilty in taking that first step. This group is going to be for you, you guys. And I am so excited to roll this out, especially in the month of February where it's all about love. You know what I mean? Why not start with you? <laughs> so, but y'all, I'm going to get upstairs, get ready for work and to start my day. I got to go into the office today. So I got to get a little bit cleaned up not working from home today. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Share this with someone that you think may need to hear it. Follow me over on my like page where I share a lot more of this content, things to help you get started right, get your morning kicked off on the right foot, and be on the lookout, you guys. I'm going to get ready to share with you guys open launch for my February group, and I hope that you will make time for you to jump in and do this with me. All right, guys. Love y'all.